uh, just to tell you about a little bit about Australian wines. Um, Australia is the fifth largest producer of wines in the world. They're going through a hard time right now because uh, their biggest export market is China and they really upset the Chinese. So the Chinese have put a big, a lot of uh, restrictions on their imports. So they're having a hard time with that. Australian wine fun facts. Uh, they've been making uh, wines with grapes from Europe from the 1800s. As you know, uh, Australia is primarily inhabited by uh, people that were thrown out of England. So they brought a lot of traditions from England and Europe with them. Shiraz and Syrah, for those of you that didn't know, are the exact same grape. It's just a, a unique expression of Syrah. And, you know, Shiraz on the island has its own characteristics, so it sort of sets it apart from other Shiraz. Um, Australia is the pioneer in non-traditional blends. Before Australia, nobody would have ever thought of blending uh, Shiraz or Syrah with, with Cabernet or blending it with Merlot because Syrah is a Rhone varietal and Bordeaux and Merlot, I'm sorry, uh, Merlot and Bordeaux, uh, Merlot and Cabernet are Bordeaux varietals and Shiraz is a Rhone varietal and it would have been sacrilege in the past to mix those two together but Australians being Australians they don't care and they've made some pretty interesting wines in doing that. Um, they're really known for their unique labels and packaging. Uh, obviously, Australia is known for all the critter wines that started with, with yellow tails, but they're also pioneers in terms of screw caps, boxed wines, and other uh, unique things to the wine industry. They've, they've really uh, innovated. Uh, Shiraz, Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir, and Merlot are the most prominent red grapes. Grenache and Mavedra are used as blending grapes. Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Semillon, Riesling, and Chenin Blanc are the most prominent white grapes. Um, they're really known for how high alcohol, fruit driven, full bodied wines because of the warm temperatures of most of the growing regions. Now we're gonna try a couple of cooler wines. Uh, I think you'll agree that the Shiraz at least fits that description. Um, they also make dessert and sparkling wine. 